how to update NVIDIA GeForce Game Ready Drivers or NVIDIA Studio Drivers. The first thing you need to do is open up your browser and navigate to the following URL address, https colon slash slash www.nvidia.com slash en dash gb slash geforce slash geforce dash experience. Once you're here, you'll be on the NVIDIA GeForce Experience download page. The NVIDIA GeForce Experience program allows you to capture and share videos, screenshots, and live streams with friends. Keep your drivers up to date and optimize your game settings. GeForce Experience lets you do it all, making it the super essential companion to your GeForce graphics card. Of course, guys, we're going to be downloading and installing GeForce Experience to keep our drivers up to date. What's great about the GeForce Experience application is that it automatically notifies you of new driver releases from NVIDIA. With a single click, you can update the driver directly without leaving your desktop. This automatic way to update your drivers is much better than the traditional way of updating your drivers via a manual driver search, which requires you to search all GeForce drivers by providing your system information, such as the product type, so what GPU you have, the product series, the product itself, the operating system, and your language. Updating your drivers manually is clearly a much more tedious process and is a lot slower than using the NVIDIA GeForce Experience application to automatically update your drivers. To download the GeForce Experience, simply left click on download now. Once you have done that guys, Windows will prompt you to pick a save location. As you can see, I'm in my downloads folder here and the file name, I'm going to leave it as it is and the save as type, I'm going to keep it as application. I'm just going to left click on save and the NVIDIA GeForce Experience installer will begin downloading onto my computer. I'll be back with you guys once the download has completed. All right guys, the download has now completed. So what I'm going to do now is navigate to the bottom left hand corner here of my browser, left click on the arrow here, and then left click on show in folder. As you can see, I'm now in my downloads folder and we can see that the GeForce Experience installer is right here. I'm just going to double click on it now to run it. Once you've done that, you'll be prompted by the user account control, which asks you, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Of course, we want to install the GeForce Experience program so we're going to left click on yes. Once you've done that guys the NVIDIA GeForce Experience installer will open. As you can see at the current time of recording of this video the NVIDIA GeForce Experience version is 3.23.0.74. You're greeted with the privacy policy here and the end user license agreement. You have the option to agree and install or don't install. Of course guys we're going to be left clicking on agree and install. Once you've done that, NVIDIA GeForce Experience will begin installing. And there we go, guys. As soon as the installation is complete, you're greeted with the sign in with NVIDIA page here, which allows you to log in or sign in to the NVIDIA GeForce Experience client here. If you have an account already, you'll simply need to put in your email address and password. If you don't already have an account, you'll need to create one. So you can either log in with Facebook, Google, Apple, or you can simply left click on create account here. You'll then be taken to the account creation page where you'll need to fill in the appropriate details. So you'll need to choose your email address that you're going to sign up with, a display name, date of birth, password and confirm your password. You'll then also need to agree to the NVIDIA account terms of use along with the capture. Once you've done that, you just simply left click on create account. Now guys, I already have an NVIDIA account, so I'm just simply going to hit cancel here as I do not need to create another NVIDIA account. And I'm simply going to enter my email address and my password to log into my NVIDIA account. All right, guys, I've filled in all my details and I'm just going to simply left click on login to be logged into the GeForce Experience client. Once you're logged in, you'll be greeted with this little window here, which says, keep your games and applications optimized. GeForce Experience analyzes your specific GPU, CPU and display monitor and applies customized game and application settings for the best experience. You have the option to leave automatically optimized newly added games and applications checkmarked, or you can uncheck mark it if you want. I'm going to leave it checkmarked. At the bottom, here, you have the option to start a tour of the GeForce Experience application if you are a first time user, or you have the option to skip. To save your time, I'm going to simply left click on skip here. And as you can see, 
all my games that I have installed on my system are automatically populated into the GeForce Experience application. All right, guys, once we've done all of that, we can finally update our drivers by simply navigating to the top left-hand corner here to where it says Home, and right beside it is Drivers. Simply left-click on Drivers here. As you can see, we're immediately greeted with the GeForce Game Ready Driver update here, which is available. It's version 471.11 release date 06 2021 Now, if you don't want to install the GeForce Game Ready driver and you want to install a studio driver, what you'll need to do is navigate to the top right hand corner here to the three vertical dots and click on it to change your driver preferences. So as you can see, you're greeted with this little window which says, choose your driver preference, game ready driver, which we are currently on by default, which provides the best gaming experience, or a studio driver, which provides the best experience for creative apps. So I'm just going to show you how the studio driver update area looks like by left clicking on studio driver here. And I'm just going to X out of this notification here as we no longer need it. And as you can see at the top left hand corner here under drivers, we have one update available available and that is the Nvidia Studio Driver version 471.11 release date 06 23 2021. For this video guys I'm going to be going with the Nvidia game ready driver so I'm not going to be updating the studio driver so what I'm going to need to do is navigate back to the three vertical dots here left click on it and change my driver preference to game ready driver. Great guys, we're back on the game ready driver. To download the latest version here, all we need to do is left click on the green download button here. Once you've done that, Nvidia will immediately begin downloading your GeForce game ready driver. All right guys, I'll be back with you once the GeForce game ready driver has been successfully downloaded. All right guys, I'm back. And as you can see, the GeForce game ready driver update has been downloaded now. The next thing we need to do is install this GeForce game ready driver. You have two options here. The first option is the express installation and to the right hand side here you have the custom installation. The option that I'm going to be picking guys is the custom installation. If you don't want to customize any settings just simply left click on express installation as that is a lot faster. So I'm just going to left click on custom installation here. The user account control prompt will open here asking you if I want to allow the Nvidia install application to make changes to my device. Of course guys if you want this update you're going to have to left click on yes. So I'm just going to left click on yes here. Once you've done that guys, your GeForce game ready driver will begin preparing for installation here. All right guys, because I chose custom installation here, we have a few options of which we can uncheck mark or leave check marked depending if we want it or not. We have four installation components here in our installation options. The first component is your graphics driver here, which is currently check marked in gray. And if we look to the right hand side here, the current version is 461.72. The newest version is 471.11. Of course, guys, I want the graphics driver to be updated as this is the whole purpose of this video. So I'm going to leave that check marked. Next is the Physics X system software component. As you can see, the newest version here matches the current version. Underneath is the HD audio driver, which again, the newest version is 1.3. 0.38.60 and the current version is 1.3.38.40. So we definitely need to update the HD audio driver here. And lastly, the USB-C driver, newest version matches the current version. Of course, guys, you can uncheck mark any of these options if you would like. However, I'm going to leave all check marked. You can't uncheck mark the graphics driver as that is the whole purpose of updating the GeForce game ready driver. Right at the bottom here, you have the ability to perform a clean installation. A clean installation restores all NVIDIA settings to the default value and removes any profiles you have created. So again, guys, if you've played with these settings and you don't know what you did and would like to go back to how it was originally, then I recommend check marking perform a clean installation. I'm going to leave this on check marked, guys, as I like the settings I currently have. Once you've adjusted all your installation options, for your GeForce Game Ready driver, navigate to the bottom right hand corner here to where it says install. Left click on install to begin installing the latest Game Ready driver. All right guys, GeForce Experience is now updating our GeForce Game Ready driver. I'll be back with you once the driver update has been installed. All right guys, as you can see, our installation has been completed. We now have the latest GeForce Game Ready driver for our graphics card. So I'm just going to simply left click on close now. And as you can see at the top left hand corner here of our GeForce experience under driver, you can see that it says you have the latest GeForce Game Ready driver. And if we left click on check for updates here at the bottom left hand corner here, you can see it says you have the latest GeForce Game Ready driver. If you're ever not sure that you have the latest version guys, make sure you left click on check for updates. All right guys, we have 
have just successfully updated our GeForce Game Ready driver. So I'm just going to close out of the GeForce Experience app here, close out of my downloads folder, and close out of my browser here to be taken onto my desktop. And I just wanted to show you before I end the video that we do have a new shortcut on our desktop, and that is the NVIDIA GeForce Experience application that we installed at the start of this video. Whenever you want to check for your latest GPU drivers, simply double click on the GeForce Experience shortcut here to launch your GeForce Experience application, go back to your drivers and check for updates. All right, guys, that pretty much concludes the video on how to update NVIDIA GeForce Game Ready drivers or NVIDIA Studio drivers. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Wait, is it so high to let